Welcome to the Allegheny County Public Library System Video Instruction Series Introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 Lesson 1 Creating a Title Slide A presentation created in PowerPoint can be very powerful and persuasive as for a business or can be created for family that includes family photos or vacation pictures. PowerPoint is part of the Microsoft Office family. In 2010 is very similar to the previous version, 2007. In this lesson we're going to learn to add a title, a subtitle, and we're also going to learn how to format our text first slide that appears when you open PowerPoint is the title slide. As you can see, here is your work area. Here is the ribbon as in the other office programs such as Word and Publisher. The ribbon still has the tabs on the top of it. And here's your little slide, slide pane as you create slides and add to your presentation they will line up in this section over here. There's also a note section at the bottom where you can type in notes to go along with your presentation. So for the, this example we are going to click in the first text box as you can see there is a dotted border around it. And I'm going to type in my title for this presentation. Allegheny Public Library. also going to add a subtitle below the main title. Again, I can just click in the box to add this subtitle. And I'm just going to add our abbreviation for our Allegheny Public Library System. Okay, and now to make changes to your text, you must always highlight the text itself. So as you can see, I'm clicking in the title box and I'm going to highlight this the words itself. As you can see the borders around it. So now that we have the highlight on the text, I'm going to go up to the ribbon. And in the font section, I can bold the text by clicking the B. As you can see that has boldened the text a bit. There's also an italic and an underline. Uh, you can also add a shadow, a text shadow to your text by clicking on the little S. And you can also add a different font style by clicking the arrow to the right of the default type font style. You can see you get a drop down list and this list is alphabetized. As you can see when you move the cursor over the text, over the type font text, you can see that live view is kicking in and this is nice because you can actually see a preview of what your type font will look like. 
as you can see, this only goes down to the first several um, B's of the type font, and you can click this arrow to the right or use your scroll bar, and you can see the many options you have for your type fonts. And again, just run your cursor over the text to see what that will actually look like. When you find the uh, type font that you want, just click on the type font to actually lock that in. You can also change the color of your type font. And as you can see in this option, the font color can be changed. Again, the live view is working. There are theme colors that you could use throughout your slide show. There are also standard colors. And if you click on more colors, there are more options within within that command. So I'm going to choose a theme color. You can also choose a different size font by clicking the arrow, down pointing arrow, and again by moving your cursor up and down different font sizes and of course if you go a little bit too large you're going to go to two lines and I'm just going to choose the 44 so we've worked within the first text box for the title and then to work in the subtitle, again you click within this box and you always need to highlight your text first. Um, besides the ribbon that you can use to change uh, different options for your text, you can also see that the, there is a what I call a magic toolbar that appears when you highlight your text. You can see there are not as many options in this toolbar as there are in the ribbon itself. But as you can see, there are a few. There's the type font, the size, again, there's the color. There's also a fill option, a shape fill. And as you can see, this would fill in the back. Now sometimes you cannot see uh, the changes made to your text or your slide until you click outside of the area that you've been working on and then that takes the highlighted um, the highlight off of it and then you can actually see the, the changes that you've made to your slide. In lesson two, we will learn to add a new slide and we will also learn to add a photo or some clip art to our slides.